Hello ladies, um, I've came on to do a video uh, about the group that I am an admin in. It's called Nimble Fingers Creative Minds and every month we run a challenge. Now there's no prize for the challenge because you don't have to send anything in, you just have to post pics of what you've done. Um, it's a bit of fun, it's to try and get ladies to create and hopefully create outside their comfort zone which definitely happened to me because I have never been a paper crafter and the first challenge was picked by our admin Patrizia and she picked a card so I've never made a card in my life before this is the first attempt and I started it with this plain striped paper I added this lovely floral paper. Um, all the paper in this is out of a paper pad called Floral Muse, which I've had for quite a few years and I never did paper crafting. So I put down the base of this lovely floral paper. I added this lovely frame. And then put tea stained cheesecloth on. The image is um, covered in triple glaze, that's why I've been holding it up because you can get quite a glare of it. As you can see the flowers are quite three dimensional. The back I thought looked a little lonely so I placed this fancy wee frame in and then an oval disc of the floral paper just to finish it off and that was the July challenge. For the month of August, it was my turn to pick, and I picked tags. And you can make the tag out of anything you wanted, fabric, paper, wood, or you could do all of it. So this was my first tag. It's quite simple, it's a pretty image. I added little rosebuds on ribbons. A little wooden plaque with a rosebud on it and a fringe trim. I did the edges with Tim Holtz tattered rose and also did the veil of the lady with the Tim Holtz tattered rose. On the back I just added this fancy shape, paper flowers and little diamantes, a ribbon bow, a little flower trim and a rosebud. And that was my first tag for the challenge. My second tag I went a wee bit mad with because I've never done steampunk before. So what I did was I stickled the edge, this is like a clock face. I stickled the numerals, I don't know if you can see it glitter. The hands of the clock. Then I built up cogs on the clock hand, metalwork at the bottom, metalwork at the top, a metal flower with a metal shape behind it and a metal butterfly flying up to the, the flower. On the back of the tag I added metal at the top and bottom. I fancy cut this vintage lady out of a generic paper pad I had, I don't know who would be the designer of it, but she's all fancy cut out. Everything was um, inked with Tim Holt's vintage photo, and that was my second tag for the month of August. My third is a little bit more, well there's a lot more to it actually. What I did was a tag, I stitched all around it, added this big seam binding bow pocket with purple cotton trim and the wee flower trim on top of it, same on the bottom and then this lovely iridescent bead trim. All the butterflies on the paper are stickled. I don't know if you can see it or not. Added the word appreciate. And in the pocket, 
first tag I added velvet rose or sorry velvet flower with two little soft rose buds a tiny seam binding bow the word love on a strip of the flower trim again and it's stickled and stitched around and there is a pocket within a pocket Again, all the butterflies are stickled. Be patient. And in it, I placed a stickle tag. Again, with the butterfly paper all stickled, the purple cotton trim and the flowers. And then a wee snippet of the flowers up here with the words, be gentle. And that is the front, oh sorry. On the main tag, it's all stickled, and the words you always be humble on. And that's the front of it. The back of it, I made a smaller pocket. Same purple trim with the flowers. I did a bigger cluster. And velvet flowers and silk rosebuds. Everything again is stitched around. On the top, I made a belly band, and on the belly band, I did two altered paper clips one which has a flower on both sides, and one which has a heart on either side, and the heart has been triple glazed. In the pocket I did a tag with the belly band, the butterfly paper that's all stickled and the word grateful on it. Inside that is another little tag and there's a wee pocket in this you could pop something in. Hard on it, it's been triple glazed stitched around and they all have taffeta bows but I have to tighten them and then a large tag at the back of that stitched all around stickled and a triple glazed heart placed upon it and that was my third tag for the month of August My last and final tag is very simple, very straightforward. It's a vintage style. Done in a vin with a vintage style cotton trim, a little bow. Same trim around the back, but quite a bit of writing space to jot down your thoughts or memories or whatever you like on it. And that's the fourth tag for August. I should have said that the the loaded tag pocket with the purple butterflies on, all that paper is from G. Kerr on her Friday freebie, so thank you, G. And that's it for this video, ladies. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.